MAGA Republican candidate for president Nikki Haley is openly courting racist and white supremacists by lying about the meaning of the word woke and critical race theory. Let's address this. First, let's address this word woke and the way Republicans are using it. What would you have to say about the wokeism that's infiltrating the school systems? Let's be clear, racists are using the word woke because they can't use the N-word any longer. But more importantly, they're using it to detract from the legitimate grievances that black people, indigenous people, and other people of color have at the racial injustices in America. Rather than have an actual and honest conversation on why the black maternal mortality rate is 300% that of white mothers, they want to dismiss it as wokeism. Rather than try to understand why black and brown people are arrested at six to nine times the rate of white people for the exact same crimes, they want to call it wokeism. Rather than have an honest conversation on why black and brown majority schools receive 23 billion less in funding than white majority schools, they want to dismiss it as wokeism. And then after dismissing legitimate racial injustice as wokeism, MAGA Republicans do something even more sinister. They lie, they project, and they try to paint themselves as a victim. And this is what Nikki Haley does next. 90% of our American kids are now under critical race theory. And what that means is if a little girl goes into kindergarten, if she's white, you're telling her she's bad. If she's brown or black, you're telling her she's never going to be good enough and she's always going to be a victim. And that's wrong. First of all, the idea that 90% of our children are being taught critical race theory is just, this is a flat out lie. It's a college level course. Most children will never take this course. And that's notwithstanding the fact that learning about America's history of racial injustice is not a bad thing. But she does something even more sinister. Nothing about critical race theory tells white kids that they're at fault and nothing about it tells black and brown kids that they're never good enough. This is MAGA projection of what they think in their own mind. And this is the MAGA attempt to avoid the actual systemic injustice, just three examples of which I gave earlier, to make it seem like if they simply wish away racism, it'll magically go away, as if the systemic injustices that exist now are there as a figment of our imagination and not as a legacy of slavery, genocide, and Jim Crow. The only reason MAGA Republicans refuse to teach or learn about America's history of systemic injustice and racism is because they want to perpetuate it in the future.